everyone again. Um, I know I just made a video uh, of a review of Loads of Chloe, but um, I'm making another video about, well, a What's in My Bag video, because I've seen a few people on YouTube doing it, and I think, um, you know, it's a good excuse to talk about myself some more, big myself up a bit, you know? So, yeah, I'll do that. And also, the reason I'm doing it now is because um, uh, well, I want to do it on my college bag, and I actually... Um, leave college next week, so um, yeah, I wanted to do that before I left college. So you know, just for good memories and so on. So the bag I'm going to be doing today is my Ted Baker bag. I'll just show that to you guys now. If you can guys see, can see that. So it's a kind of a plasticky one, but it's not as as plasticky as some of the Ted Baker bags that. You know the ones I see most often. Ted Baker's quite a big brand where where I live. Um, you always see people with Ted Baker bags. Um, I've not seen anyone with this one, but um, you know they usually have the little ones with the bows on. But I bought this uh, a few weeks ago, about a month ago now, and I thought it was really really cute because it is still plastic, but it's a bit different. I really like the floral print on it, the rose prints. I especially love kind of this colour flower, I don't know if you can see, it's just like a really pretty <laughs> flower um, pattern. It's kind of really vintagey, which I like. Um, it kind of reminds me of the uh, Kath Kidson bags, except not so um, not so middle class, a bit more, you know, working class. Um, and it says Ted Baker London on the bottom. And along the sides here it says, um, like, London, Paris, New York, LA, Hong Kong, Sydney, Singapore, Tokyo, Singapore even. Like I suppose they're the cities that sell Ted Baker. And this side it says, no ordinary designer bag. And then on the inside it says along the top, you've really got a hold of me. So that's cute. And this one was from House of Fraser. It is current season, but it's sold out online because I was, I was kind of looking at it online and suddenly it disappeared. So I'm guessing it's sold out. But if you really like this bag, um, check out your local House Fraser store because they might still, you know, have some in. So yeah, I like this bag. This it was thirty-five pound. I think I did. Um, but this has been the bag I've been taking to college for the last few weeks because it's a nice size and you know it's easy to carry. And I go to an art college, so um, because it's plastic, if I get any paint or emulsion or anything on it, I can just wipe it down. Um, and not have to worry about any of that. So I'll just talk you through what is in my bag, which I suppose is the whole point of the video. Um, first of all, I have my pencil case, which isn't actually a pencil case at all. It is a Vivian Westwood Cosmetics pouch that came with my Naughty Alice purchase. So as you guys can see, it's got like a little brown leather pattern and the orb kind of embossed in it. It's got like um, the orb hang, uh, chain, but as you guys can see, the ring around my kind of ball broke because I dropped it on the um, floor at college and it's like cement floor and it just smashed off basically. Um, I'll show you guys what's in here, but it's not very interesting. I'd say the most interesting thing I've got in my pencil case is um, some of these, um, what are they called? mirror hangers mirror hangers I don't know what they're called but I've got a load of them in here and there is a good reason for that because I am exhibiting work in a few weeks and I need these to hang my work up with some like big ones <laughs> it's kind of sad yeah I've got loads of these in here and pens, pencils loads of tissue paper the reason I've got tissue paper is because I've got like an ink pen in here so that's like to kind of blot out the, the ink so yeah, that's my uh, kind of makeshift pencil case. The next thing I have in my bag is the book I'm reading at the minute, which is Stephen King's It. This is the paperback version. Um, I have read this before. I hope you guys can still see me. I have read this before. This is the second time I'm reading it. Um, as you can see, I'm not very far through. Um, the bookmark I've got in it is just the Da Vinci one from um, the National Gallery when I went to the um, Leonardo Painter at the Court of Milan exhibition last year. It's of uh, Virgin on the Rocks. 
the uh, one that's in London, not the one in Paris. Um, yeah, this is a brilliant, oh, brilliant book. I would recommend it to anyone who loves horror um, stories, anyone who loves like adventure, sci-fi, anything like that. It is like a really creepy book. It just like gives you nightmares and gets under your skin and um, kind of makes you cry and laugh and you know all this, all at the same time. A brilliant book. Um, yeah. <laughs> the next thing is a little bit funny. <laughs> I found this at college and I thought it was hilarious. It's kind of been broken at college. I think someone was using it to like, was like melting it or something. But it's like a part of a pencil case. <laughs> and anyone who lives in the UK and is kind of of my age or maybe a bit older will know who this fella is on um, this pencil case. <laughs> it says I love Gareth and it's Gareth Gates and I found this hilarious because it's from the magazine It's Hot which I used to like you can see that there it's obviously like a free gift from a teenage magazine and I used to buy this when I was little and I think I probably at one point actually owned this pencil case um, but yeah I found this being melted at college and I thought I'm having that because it's hilarious so I've got that in my bag for some reason but it's probably not funny to anyone else but I just found it hilarious and um, the next thing I have in my bag is just some as the hand and nail lotion because I have like really really dry hands like the they're, they're not as bad at the minute but they are still quite bad but in the winter they like crack and bleed and it's horrible so it's always good to have some like hand moisturizer on you the next thing I have in my bag is, oh by the way, in my bag there is like a pocket, like there look where you can put all your like personal bits, I just have my receipt for this bag in there and the back tags in there at the minute. The next thing I have in my bag is my purse, which is a Vivian Westwood purse, it's in the um, summer tartan colour, um, I think it's called Rosa, yeah I've got the box over there, it's called Rosa, um, as you can see it's just got the like, um, kind of, it's not silver, it's kind of like a, it's silver but like darker than silver, I'm not sure what you call that kind of metal effect, but yeah, that's the orb that I've got on it, and it's just like in the summer tartan pattern, it's like the soft kind of tartan, not the hard one, and it's got like orange um, going around it, it was pretty expensive, but I love Vivian Westwood and I've got quite a few um, Vivian Westwood things already, so yeah, I just like to have that around. Um, next, I'll, I'll just show you what's in here. I've got loads and loads of cards and loyalty cards and things. I've got like boots card, my citizen card, my bank cards, perfume shop card which gets used probably the most all my cards, subway card which never gets used because I always get to use it, my super drug beauty card, boots card, HMV card and <laughs> Just show you guys that. That's funny. My Labour Cat Party membership card, <laughs> which is hilarious. Like I don't even. I remember the Labour Party, but I don't actually like do anything to do with the Labour Party. I just fancy Ed Miliband, basically. <laughs> so that's why I'm a member of the Labour Party. I think I think I just joined to um to vote in the party election a couple of years ago. That's the only reason I joined the Labour Party. But I thought it was it's kind of. Um, what else have I got? My hairbrush that I carried to college with me. Ah, my um, Revlon, what's it called? Revlon Colour Burst Lip Butter. I've got three of these, but I only carry kind of one with me at the time. And this is Cupcake, which is the colour I've got on right now, I think. Just check. Yeah, it's the colour I've got on me right now. It's kind of a really pale pink. I've also got um, two others I've got over there, I can't remember what that one's called, I'll just see what. this one's strawberry shortcake, this one's probably the, probably looks the nicest on my toned lips, it's quite a, um, I don't know, it blends quite well with my lip tone, so that one's probably my favourite, and then the one that I was wearing on my last video, the Load of Chloe video, was this one here, which is Tutti Fruity, which is like a cool kind of peachy orange well it's kind of like more like more than a peach it's kind of a bright orange colour yeah I've got those three um I got those a couple of weeks ago 
They're quite expensive actually. They're about eight about eight pound each, seven ninety nine, eight pound. But it was uh three for two on all cosmetics at Superdrug. And so I got three of these and this is the one that I had in my bag, the cupcake, which is the lightest colour. So they're really good by the way. I like wearing them because they're um they're like a nice um halfway between lip gloss and lipstick or lip balm and lipstick actually they're moisturising um, but they're easy to wear because I find lipsticks really hard to wear so they're nice to just carry around in your bag they're quite easy to put on um, next thing I have in my bag I've got a load of tester strips in my bag because I, I went I didn't go perfume shopping today but I went yeah perfume shopping but I didn't buy anything so these are the, like the Madonna Truth or Dare tester strips but I don't think any of them actually have that aren't and I've just got like a Dior tester strip. I like to keep them because when the fragrance like runs out on them I can use them again. I can't remember what Dior fragrance is on this one but it was one I hadn't heard of before but I don't think it's new. I'm just not sure what it was. I think this one's got, I think that's got Lola on, Matt Jacobs. I'm not sure what that one's got on. Or that one. I think one of them's got Dolce and Gabbana light blue on. But I'm not sure. Um, speaking of perfume, I always carry the whole bottles of perfume around in my bag. Um, this is just what I've been wearing at college today. It is Viva La Juicy by Juice Couture. So as you can see I've used quite a lot of that. I didn't use all that today though. But yeah, adorable bottle. Smells amazing. I will do a review on it, I promise. Lovely. Oh, just amazing. I'm so happy. And then last but not least, I think, yeah, is my keys. <laughs> now this is my key ring. And this is the one key I have on my key ring. So I've got like this cool like, this is just my house key. I don't have any other keys because I don't drive and um, I used to have a locker key but I don't have a locker anymore. And then these are all my key rings. I've got so many. Um, I've got a couple from Ness, which is a Scottish company that kind of specialises in like tartan. So I've got like these three tartan ones from Ness, which I really like. I've got this the Cure one from um, when I went to the Cure in 2008 at the Four Tour. So that's that's probably my favourite one. I've got an M for Megan, which someone got me from Disneyland. <laughs> And um, that's a football one, but I, I don't even like football. My friend bought me this one for Christmas, so that's really cute. I've got a York Dungeon one that's just like this, all these ones. Um, I've got this one with my name on again. And then I have these two from the uh, Grace and Perry um, Tomb of the Unknown Emperor exhibition at the British Museum last year. So I've got this one that's really cute. Then this one of Alan Measles, his like teddy bear riding on a motorbike. So that's so cute. Um, so yeah, that is everything that's in my bag. Quite a lot just fitting in like this bag. But yeah, thanks for watching. I hope someone did watch and see you guys soon, probably for some more fragrance reviews or maybe for my haul video. Um, oh, I'm not sure if I mentioned it on my last video, but um, hopefully some Vivian Westwood things come in soon. So, might be doing a haul on that. So, you know, stay in touch, keep reviewing, keep watching. Thank you.